Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. In this video, we are tackling pickups. Now this is kind of a pickup 101 video. So if you're a new player and you're looking for that first electric guitar, or perhaps you've been playing acoustic and you want to kind of dabble in electric, it can be super overwhelming trying to find the right guitar with the right pickup setup. So today we're going to look at three or four different common pickup setups and kind of go through the advantages and disadvantages of each. So when you go to buy that first electric guitar, you're armed with a little information. All right, so let's jump straight in and check out some different pickup layouts. Now I'm mostly going to be using Stratocasters in today's video, but the types of pickups in each guitar kind of transcends brands. So just because I'm using Strats doesn't mean you can't find these types of pickups on different brands. So that's the first thing to note. Other than that, let's check out the first type of pickups, which are single coils. <laughs> Now the history of the single coil goes all the way back to the 20s. No, not 2020, but 1920. And since then, every style and type of single coil pickup has been produced. None so popular as found on Stratocasters and Telecasters, some of the best selling guitars out there. But if you're a new player, you wanna know what is a single coil good at and what does it sound like? Well, that's why we're here. So where do single coils excel and should you buy a guitar with some on there? Well, the name of the game when it comes to single coils is they're bright, they're chimey, they're cutting, they got like a punchy attack, lots of note definition and clarity. So what styles are they good for and will they be a good fit for you? Well, anytime you need clean tones, that's like no distortion. Um, anytime you need like low gain bluesy tones, low gain rock, single coils sound fantastic. And that's really in their wheelhouse. Anytime you need that bright, open, you know, bell like tone, that's where the single coil lives. <laughs> So that's an example of a guitar equipped with three single coil pickups. Bright, chimey and clear, absolutely iconic since the 50s. But what if you like some of those tones and you also like to play with distortion? Well that's where the next pickup configuration really shines. Check this out. We've got a mixture of two different kinds of pickups. Single coils here and a humbucker in the bridge. Now as soon as, you know, single coils started hitting the market, inventors went over time trying to figure out how to make them quieter and it wasn't really till you know the mid 50s where guitar specific humbuckers really started to shine with Gretsch and Gibson pretty much in a dead heat to invent the humbucker and as the name suggests it bucks the hum it kills the hum any sort of you know hum induced by single coils if you use a humbucker it totally makes it silent so that's where a humbucker single single or hss guitar really shines this is a squire thankfully like all these pickup configurations we're gonna, we're gonna go through today can be found on entry level guitars which is so cool so anyway the advantage of humbucker single single is when you want to use distortion or solo or you just need more oomph into your amp or pedal that's where the humbucker comes in let's take a listen Next up, I think you guys know where we're going. A guitar equipped with just humbuckers. No single coils on board at all. Should this be your first guitar? What are the advantages and the disadvantages? Well, Manufacturers like Gibson, like Epiphone, like PRS have been making guitars with just humbuckers pretty much exclusively for years. And what's the advantage? Well, the main one is it gives you a big round full tone, kind of in opposite of a single coil where they're clear and crisp. Humbuckers are full, lots of bass, lots of mids, 
and just gives you a really robust and powerful tone. So they'll drive an amp harder, but they're also you know, totally quiet. So they give you a big full tone, which is why jazz players love them, and they're dead quiet, which is why you know, players who use a lot of gain also love them. Now thankfully, these days most manufacturers who make guitars with just two humbucking pickups will also include coil splits. This is a PRS SE Pulse guitar and there's two toggle switches in between your volumes. You just hit them and you get a coil split, which means you only use one coil of the humbucker. And that's like a single coil. Now not every humbucker splits really nice. These absolutely do. They sound very, very close to an exact single coil. Um, so great versatility. So if you're gonna look for a guitar equipped with humbuckers, check if it has a five-way switch or coil splits. If that's in the specs, then you know you can access some of those bright single coil tones on your humbucking equipped guitar. <laughs> Finally, let's talk about HSH, or Humbucker Single Humbucker, a really versatile layup. Should you get one as your first guitar? Well, unfortunately, I don't have a Strat equipped with HSH, but I played on an Ibanez for many years, so I'm pretty comfortable with it. And this is my first guitar I ever modded some 20 years ago. It's missing a string. Still looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Uh, I haven't had this guitar out in ages. But anyway, this is my only current one with HSH. Uh, advantages, obviously you get the big bold sounds of humbuckers in the neck and the bridge, so it will cover gain no problem, and you get a real single coil. So unlike HH, where you might get splits of some sort, here you get an actual single coil, so you get that true tone. Now, disadvantages, well, it's in the middle, so some people don't like it because their picks will hit it and they'll lower them down a bit, and that just makes the volume disparity worse. So the single coil's very quiet, the humbucker's very loud. So that can be a disadvantage, and of course it's in the middle, so you don't get like that neck, you know, iconic neck single coil tone. So there are some disadvantages, but overall a very flexible layout. So at the end of it all, you're a new player trying to find the guitar that best suits your needs. What would I actually recommend? Well, First up, if you like clean and clear tone, if you listen to artists like David Gilmour, Eric Clapton, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and pretty much any other blues player on the planet, I can easily recommend the three single coil setup, whether it's a Fender or not. Uh, this is absolutely iconic. It gives you five different tones. You get the in-between kind of Strat quacky tones, surprisingly versatile, and the single coils can handle a fair amount of distortion. You just might need to use like a noise gate or some other way to kind of bring the noise down a little bit, uh, but surprisingly versatile, absolutely iconic. And if you like those kind of tones, you're gonna be super happy right here. Now for the player who values versatility and wants one guitar that can cover the most genres, this is my pick easily. Such a versatile setup, humbucker, single, single. So if you're looking for a guitar that can cover a ton of different genres, this is my pick. Absolutely awesome. You get all the, the blues and position four of a Strat, and then you go to the bridge, totally silent and can handle a ton of gain. So this is a Fender, this is a Squire, there's all sorts of other brands in HSS. So if you're looking for a pickup set and a guitar that's really versatile, this is my pick. And finally, well, here's where things get a little tricky. My recommendation is this. If you always play with distortion, you never find yourself playing clean, go with HH. It'll handle all the high gain, all the distortion you can throw at it. At the same time, if you never play with distortion, you only play clean, also HH is good. Jazz guitar versus you know something that handles more gain. That's the beautiful thing about pickups. Um, if you need a, a fat, you know, round jazz tone that's beautiful and clean, HH will do the job. If you need something that's biting and like really powerful, HH will do the job. So there you guys go. Those are my recommendations. I know it's overwhelming. Hopefully this helped clear a few things up.
So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Picking up a guitar and starting to learn is absolutely a journey worth taking. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. I'll answer as many as I can. If I'm not around, some of my longtime subscribers will absolutely help you out. They're a super knowledgeable uh, group of people with tons of experience. So don't feel bad about asking a question. Drop it down there. Somebody will answer and help you out. Other than that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, Feel free to do so. We got lots of great content lined up for you guys. Other than that, have yourself a great day.